Game Masters here. I almost forgot that next Tuesday, uh, April 7th, is going to see the release of the Princes of the Apocalypse for the new Dungeons and Dragons. And I wanted to actually have a review copy here and wanted to give you guys uh, kind of a sneak peek at it and let you decide if you want to actually purchase it. Um, the artwork is, as all the other books are, fantastic. It's a very heavy duty book. Um, it retails for, suggested retail is $49.95 in the United States, $58 in Canada. Uh, it is, a pro some of the pages are stuck together. Ooh. Well, it is 256 pages. Uh, what is the Princes of the Apocalypse? Um, it's, of course, it's part of the, the Elemental Evil uh, storyline. Um, it's an adventure that is, let's see, designed for characters of levels 1 to 15. It has new spells, uh, new elemental element-touched uh, genocide as a new playable race as well. And, of course, you've got to use 5th edition rules to play it. But some of the really cool, let me see here some artwork. Some of the really cool uh, elements to this book are, it gives you a tremendous amount of adventure background, kind of a good synopsis over what's going on in the uh, Forgotten Realms. With, elemental, uh, with the elemental evil. Uh, years ago, there was the Temple of Elemental Evil. Um, I do want to make clear that that's not what this is. You know, I mean, even their, their elemental evil story arc is not... It, it's, it's been, uh, what, inspired by the, the module Temple of Elemental Evil. So this is not replacing it, it's just kind of a beefier, uh, bigger uh, adventure from that. This is really more for the DM. Uh, however, there is a lot of information in here that players will take uh, a good advantage of as well. Mainly the, the new character class and the new spells that are in it. Uh, lots of really cool maps. Here's Temple of the Black Earth. Ooh! It tells you in here that you need to say the words uh and um a lot. Hey, I know. Let's check out uh, some new monsters. One-Eyed Shiver. It's an armor class of 12. Uh, hit points 49 to 98 plus 9. Speed is 30 feet. When it's alive, the One-Eyed Shiver projects an aura of cold mist within 10 feet of itself. If the One-Eyed Shiver deals damage to a creature in this area, the creature also takes 5 cold damage, or 1d10. Let's take a look at a spell. Abidalzim's Horrid Wilting. Casting time is 1 action, 150 feet. It's instantaneous. You draw the moisture from every creature in a 30-foot cube centered on a point you choose within range. Each creature in that area must make a constitution saving throw. Constructs and undead aren't affected. And plants and water elementals make this saving throw without with disadvantage. A creature takes 10d8 necrotic damage on a failed save. Wow. Or half as much damage on a successful one. Wow. That's pretty nasty. It even details a little bit about Waterdeep, Summit Hall, Tribor, High Forest, Crypt Garden Forest, Neverwinter, there's Drow, Fiery Throat, Zegdar's Lair. Uh, yeah, I would say that if you are a DM and you're looking to expand your adventure, your players' adventures, this is definitely a book to get. Um, especially if you've already kind of started going along the, the Elemental Evil storyline. It's a great continuation of it. Um, I've kind of skimmed through this a fair amount, 
and I plan on tonight uh, really giving it a good thorough scrubbing and I will be throwing my players into the middle of it uh, as soon as well I guess we need to finish up a little bit of another adventure first and then we're gonna throw I'll throw them into the middle of this uh, maybe by Sunday uh, of this weekend but remember this itself uh, this book itself comes out next week uh, which will would be April 7th also due out on April 7th is Neverwinter Elemental Evil Battle the Cults of Elemental Evil in a new module for Neverwinter the highly acclaimed free-to-play Dungeons & Dragons MMORPG from Cryptic Studios and Perfect World Entertainment, which brings a new playable class, the Oathbound Paladin, and increases the level cap to 70. That launches on April 7th. And there is also available on April 22nd the Temple of Elemental Evil Adventure System board game designed by Wizards of the Coast and WizKids, features 13 connected scenarios allowing you and your friends characters to evolve and grow over the campaign to fight stronger monsters and overcome more dastardly hazards that's pretty much all i've got uh this is game masters reminding you to game on um um, on April 7th, the Neverwinter of Elemental Eve, Eve, I can't talk. Um, um,